for Chicago movie lovers as what's actually on the screen itself. We're talking, of course, about the Music Box Theater. Time Out Magazine just named it one of the 50 most beautiful theaters in the entire world. Joining us now to discuss is Buck Lapar, the theater's senior operations manager. Howdy, Buck. How are you? Hi, I'm doing well. How are both of you? Great. great. What wonderful news this is. What's your reaction to hearing it? Um, it was a surprise, honestly, as this was not something we, you know, anticipated or campaigned for in any way. So to just out of the blue find yourself on a list with <laughs> these wonderful movie theaters in Dublin and Berlin and mm. Madrid and all these places around the world was uh, really exciting and uh, surprising. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Been there many times up on, on, on Southport there. Uh, now, the theater opened way back in 1929. It's coming up on the century mark. What does it take to maintain uh, a, a facility like that with such history? Uh, it, it takes a lot. Um, yeah, we just had a really great 90th anniversary uh, celebration back in 2019. And, you know, it takes a lot of hard work from all of us here um, and the support of a wonderful community and wonderful audience. Mm -hmm. You know, people might hear this and think, gosh, I haven't visited in a really long time or maybe ever. So this might be a great opportunity to come check you guys out. Can you talk about some of the restrictions that are in place? Do people have to book weeks in advance their ticket? What do they need to do to come see you? Yeah, so we just reopened um, again. Uh, right now, we're only open on Friday, Saturday, Sundays. We are doing very limited seating uh, with lots of space in between show times to allow for extra cleaning. Um, you can see we have our 750 seat auditorium and right now we're only selling up to 50 seats mm -hmm. for any movie in there. So lots of room to spread out and social distance. We're only uh, doing tickets on available online in advance to cut down, make things a little bit more contactless. Um, but we do have uh, yeah, a lot of a lot of movies going on right now. And we also we have a smaller auditorium that we're allowing for private rentals for people to book out. Yeah, I've seen some independent films in that smaller uh, venue there. Now, Buck, before you go, uh, do you think being named to such a prestigious list, uh, could that do anything in terms of uh, reviving the theater or bringing people back at all? I hope so. I mean, I hope it's just a reminder of folks that, you know, we've all been watching a lot of movies at home, and mm -hmm. it's great to be able to experience them that way. But really, nothing beats, uh, nothing beats the experience of going yes. out into a theater, sitting in a seat with your popcorn and your soda, having the lights come down, yep. our curtain going up in a movie right. starting. I love it. Buck, thank you so much again for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. a suburban